everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i hope you're all doing well today first of all i want to apologize about the lighting as you can see it is a sunny day and i just don't know what to do because this video needs to be filmed because it's 10 weeks late in being filmed <laughs> so i do apologize and i look tired because i quite frankly haven't slept very well but I kept putting this video off and it's something that, you know, I wanted to film and look back for on like memories and comparison. You guys hopefully will find this helpful if you're pregnant and you want to compare it to your own journey or maybe you've been pregnant or planning on being pregnant or something like that. Now, because we are quite behind on these videos, my last pregnancy update was 17, 18 and 19 weeks pregnant. So I was doing about three weeks in one video. I think this one will be 20 to 25 weeks, which is five weeks worth of stuff. But because it was happened about 10 weeks ago, I can't entirely remember. Although I do have notes on my phone. It's going to be more quick fire week by week. These are my symptoms. And this is what I remember kind of thing. And I'll also, I've also got my um, maternity notes here to refer to. I'm going to stop rambling on because I don't want this video to be too long either. And I just want to get into it. So let's start with 20 weeks. This week I have logged that I was getting acne and I remember it being around my chin. Although it wasn't like really bad cystic acne, I think it was just like a few little, more like congestion-y sort of pimples, which I think is just like a hormonal thing. But again, it was only round um, like this area of my face. I wouldn't say I was getting any acne anywhere else. I've also said that I had a really dry nose and throat. And I remember this quite specifically because I literally could not sleep you know when you're laying there and every time you breathe you can just feel the dryness coming in and then hitting the back of your throat and no matter how much like water i drank it just wasn't getting any better i kept trying to put vicks on and um i did try and use my i have like a little aromatherapy like oil diffuser Thing. so I had that with like lavender oils coming out and eucalyptus maybe I'm not can't remember it may have just been lavender that I had and it was just like clearing the air and I have also put it could be down to the weather or it could be like a pregnancy symptom because I know a lot of people do get dry but I remember we went to centre parks and I had to take the diffuser with me just because I just felt like the air was so dry and I was trying to get like moisture and humidity back into the air and this could probably bring on to the next thing I put that I was really thirsty now I don't know whether I was thirsty because my throat and nose were so dry or whether I was just thirsty because the baby was growing I'm not sure <laughs> But I had um, my 20 week scan. That was all really positive. Um, they've put on here that my placenta was anterior. So placenta's at the front of my belly. And they put four limb seen, no facial cleft seen, no obvious fetal and abnormalities. Um, they put that the head circumference was 192.6 millimeters which on here looks like it's slightly above the 50th percentile I've just seen Macy in the background um, and I don't really know what some of the other stuff mean either I think they measure like the baby's body um, but I honestly don't know what these mean but yeah no spina bifida um, and they put everything seems normal which was really positive so that was lovely to see we didn't find out the gender, but we think we know what the gender is because we're not sure whether we may have seen some male genitalia on the scan. We're not sure. It could have just been the umbilical cord, to be honest with you, because um, it's one of those things, isn't it? But yeah, we don't know the gender, nor are we planning on finding out. And then I've also put on here as well 
that I um, have started to wake up on my back this week and obviously during pregnancy you're not meant to sleep on your back I think it becomes more important later on in the pregnancy um, but at 20 weeks you want to get into the habit of not sleeping on your back um, normally I sleep on my stomach but I've put that I've been starting to feel like pressure from uh, my bump so I haven't been able to like like if I tried to sleep on my stomach there's been like too much pressure there that's the only way that I can describe it and I did get a, a u-shaped pregnancy pillow which I found helped propped me up but it didn't actually help relieve like the pressure from my bump so I did end up sending that back so at 20 weeks baby is the size of a kitten and the length is 26.7 centimeters crown to heel and they weigh about 360 grams if you compare that to a fruit it's the size of a cantaloupe melon or sweets is a large popcorn i feel like these are all very like subjective as well on to 21 weeks i've put dry nose and throat again not being able to sleep still got acne I've put darker nipples, starting to notice it before, but more noticeable now. I think I was getting like a few dark spots on my nipple as well, um, which I think is just all down to like hormones and preparing your body for breastfeeding and things like that. I put on here not as many headaches either. Ordered the nursery furniture, which is really exciting. And I've also put on 21 weeks that this is the week that Matt felt um, the baby kick. So um, because I've got an anterior placenta, obviously it was harder to feel the baby kick, especially from the outside, if anyone was to put their hand on their stomach. But Matt was finally able to feel the baby kick this week, which was super lovely. Um, and I think it was really nice for him as well, as it just makes it a little bit more real for the partners. 21 weeks, baby is the size of a Maltese puppy, which is 28 to 30 centimetres. This, they are, stay the size between... 21 to 23 weeks so when you hit 21 weeks the pregnancy plus app doesn't update it week by week you can probably see at the top here it goes in like a few weeks at a time at 22 weeks i got a uti or a water infection and had to be put on antibiotics um, I've also put that I've been quite sick and throwing up um, in the middle of the night around sort of 2am but I've also wasn't sure whether this was down to um, taking the antibiotics because antibiotics I do generally have the reaction of feeling sick and getting a bit of a funny like tummy from them as well so I don't think that was to do with pregnancy I do think that was more to do with the antibiotics um, but that was super painful <laughs> i mean they're painful when you're not pregnant but when you're pregnant and uncomfortable having a uti is something that you don't want but touch wood you touch the door that's the only one that i've had in this entire pregnancy and hopefully it'll be the only one that i get because i am quite prone to them so i've actually been really lucky and i thought i would get a lot more but i haven't so i've been really lucky in that sense um, I've also put on here that I've still got a bit of acne around this part of my face that I've been feeling a little bit itchy on my tummy where it has been growing and I've also put that my like body was a little bit itchy but my skin was really dry um, and I don't know whether that was just to do with the weather to be honest with you because it was January it was cold <laughs> so it probably was to do with the weather and this week I put, I can feel a pulse through my body. So when I like lay down and try and go to sleep, I get really like funny and faint and I can feel like my blood pumping through my whole body and it's really not a nice feeling at all. And you just can't like settle or sleep because all you can focus on is like, it makes you feel really like 
like you sort of can't breathe as well um almost like a bit like a panic attack i guess where you can feel everything pumping through your body and you feel like you're gonna pass out and that's not nice at all especially when you're trying to go to sleep and you're like laying down <laughs> i've put on here lots of kicking in the evening so i can't really feel the baby during the day but when i'm sitting on the sofa or laying down i can feel the baby kick in the evening um this is the week as well that people were saying that my bump had popped <laughs> so like i think you could really tell that i was pregnant at 22 weeks as well i also built the um snooze pod which is the next to me crib and i did a big baby order on um the boots website as well so i've got lots of stuff that i will need which i will probably be doing in a separate video just like a boots baby haul of all of that stuff that i got at 22 weeks according to the pregnancy plus app which i've got here baby is measuring at 28.9 centimeters and is 501 grams and that is compared to Maltese puppy or uh, a fruit pie or an eggplant which is a aubergine if you are not American. <laughs> At 23 weeks now, I've put acne again, that I've been having lower back pain, which I think is just to do with like the baby growing. We started doing the nursery in this week as well, which is super cute. And I will have a nursery re reveal coming for you guys. I put my belly is tight, but that's all I've put for 23 weeks. And obviously the baby is still the size of a Maltese puppy. 24 weeks, again, I have logged back pain and acne. And this was a really sad and emotional week. I've put on here that I've been very emotional um, and sort of struggling a little bit. I think most of it was all down to like my clothes suddenly not fitting in this week. So I've kind of gone from like being able to squeeze in stuff and things being tight or like growing with me. But then all of a sudden my clothes just... <laughs> one day went from fitting to not fitting and not having anything to wear like to replace that either um so the, i was quite emotional <laughs> this week and that was a really sad time i still feel like that now um it doesn't get any better <laughs> um i've also had a sore throat and cold this week and just generally been feeling sort of exhausted and um feeling really faint and dizzy um, which I did have at sort of 16 weeks, I think. But again, the feeling faint and dizzy is back again, so I can't stand up for too long. Even like feeling faint while lying down as well um, has been sort of an issue, um, but it's just one of those things. At 24 weeks, the baby is now the size of a bunny and measuring about 34 to 37 centimeters and they weigh 660 to 1000 grams they stay this way for between 24 and 27 weeks which is really exciting and i actually took a bump photo at 24 weeks as well so i will pop them on the screen for you here and then finally for this video we will move on to the last week i will talk about which is 25 weeks i've put on this that i have an itchy belly um morning sickness has returned i have had my sore boobs come back so in the first trimester i had really sore boobs um pretty much the whole first trimester like tender to touch so they're obviously doing some growing at this time in the pregnancy vlogged back pain again which has become quite common um just in my lower back and sort of having to try and stretch it out um i've also logged uh round ligament pain which is like a pain in my belly button which again i think is just growing 
growing pains. I had a midwife appointment at 25 weeks, which you get if you are pregnant with your first baby. Um, and I spoke to my midwife about me being like dizzy. So she did a blood test just to check my iron levels and they did come back that I'm anemic. So I got put on iron tablets, three, three iron tablets a day, which I think is quite a lot. I also listened to baby's heartbeat at the appointment, which was um, about 154, 155 beats per minute. Um, she didn't measure my bump in this appointment. She said that starts at 28 weeks. And my CO indicator, where they get you to breathe into this machine to test your carbon dioxide, and it came back a five, which would indicate I'm a smoker, which I am not. Neither is Matt, so neither of us smoke in our household. But so she had to put on the notes that she offered me a quitting smoking class or something like that, and that I declined the offer because why would she send me in waste resources when I don't smoke? But she said she has to log it because that's what the system flags up. She thinks that the machine was broken though because she had another dodgy um, reading by somebody else that didn't smoke. Yeah, she said if it happens again, then it might not have been a dodgy reading. It might be that I've got like a leaky boiler. But I honestly don't think it is that because we do have a carbon monoxide tester and we live in a new build. So I can't imagine like we've got all new appliances and stuff. So I can't imagine it's to do with that. I do think that the machine was probably broken or maybe it was even that I'd literally like walked a marathon so quickly from work to my car to get to there and maybe my body hadn't like fully recovered I don't know if that would make a difference or not um, and I also had some pretty crazy dreams this week as well which um, I thought I was going loopy because um, M Maisie which is our ragdoll cat was <laughs> Um, asking me to reset her online business banking on her mobile phone. Where that came from, I do not know, but everyone at work thought it was hilarious. And I thought it was hilarious as well because one, she's a cat, she does not even have a business bank account, let alone online banking. So why are you asking me to reset your online banking for your business, Maisie? I don't know, do you? She's staring at me blankly now. <laughs> and throughout all of these weeks, I've just continued to take my aspirin as well. I'm currently taking, I think they call it baby aspirin, which is because I am at risk of possibly developing preeclampsia because my mum had preeclampsia with me. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this 20 to 25 week pregnancy update video please don't forget to um subscribe if you want to come along with me on the rest of my pregnancy journey let me know in the comments if you enjoy these updates or videos as well because normally i do like vlogs and stuff so these sort of sit down videos are a little bit like i just they're all in one place so i'm not used to doing them but yeah i hope you enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one thanks all so much for watching bye I've been dreaming all night Bringing me some inspiration Never meant to love no one But baby I saw you for a second and I'm happy